The Kansas City Mavericks were at home against the Wichita Thunder on Thursday, looking for two points in the standings as they are chasing the fourth and final playoff spot. After a scoreless first period, scoring to put the Wichita Thunder up by a 1-0 count was Stephen Fournier as he took a pass from Beauregard. It was 1-0 the Thunder with the lead. But then the Mavericks came back as Giorgio Estefan tied the contest as he ripped one by Ian Scott, who played the first and second periods. Giorgio Estefan blasted one as the goaltender may have been screened by his teammate, Garrett Schmitz. Then Matteo Gennaro redirected a shot home for the Thunder, and Wichita was up 2-1. to one. But Derek Angeli tied the game 2-2 two -two as a perfect setup for him to the goaltender's right, and he did not miss. Firing that pass was Lane Scheidel. 2-2 two -to -two at that point. Then a pivotal moment in the game took place when Jared Van Warmer redirected a shot that uh, the Mavericks celebrated, saying it was in, it was reviewed, then it was revealed that it was not a goal. The Thunder came back just a short time later at 14:31, when scoring was Anthony Beauregard, and Wichita was up by a score of 3-2, to two, and then a short time after that, just 26 seconds later, connecting was Garrett Schmitz, and it was 4-2 to two, Wichita. The Mavericks got one more before the end of the period as scoring was Lane Scheidel, and he cut the Thunder lead to 4-3. to three. Then Pasta job, 3 minutes and 24 seconds into the third period, made it 4-4, to four, but it stayed tied for just 23 seconds as Braden Watts put Wichita back on top 5-4 to four with an unassisted goal. At 10 minutes and 6 seconds, Greg Morrow scored in the third period for the Mavericks, his first goal in a Mavericks uniform as he blasted it from just inside the blue line. That goal from Greg Morrow tied the game 5-5 to five the score was, but just 32 seconds later, Stephen Fournier scored what to, proved to be the game winner, his second lamplighter of the contest, and the Thunder were up 6-5. to five. Then late in the game with 44 seconds to go, Jay Dickman of the Wichita Thunder scored into the empty net to make the final 7-5, Wichita defeats the Kansas City Mavericks. Mavericks and Thunder meet again in Independence coming up on Saturday, 7.05 the time for the opening faceoff.